Hey y'all, it is December uh, the 18th, 2017, and y'all, I gotta holler at y'all about something, because here's the thing, on this here channel, y'all might understand that we like to delve into the topic of children and protecting children. Because we have some sort of understanding that, you know, there's people out there who mean, who mean to do children harm. All sort of people, right? In all sort of fashions. And none of it's affordable. We can't afford any of it. But it has been taking place. And so a lot of us are starting to awake to the notion that, you know what? There's a sincere serious lack of justice and concern for the safety of children especially in a sexual sense all right we notice that children are under attack in many ways but especially uh, they're under attack to their innocence and that people are for whatever reason trying to over-sexualize our children through the television, through the internet, through public schools and everything else, the radio, this and that and the other, trying to over-sexualize children. Basically, every single uh, act of bringing sex around children is abuse, and it's terrible and it's unaffordable. That's what we're realizing. All right. Uh, I had to make note of the fact is what we're also realizing is other things to include uh, that some people who are beginning to understand that you know uh, this is a pretty big problem all right the child abuse the child sexual abuse that's actually of the utmost priority here in this country some people are starting to understand that they're starting to see, uh, you know, this disgusting cabal of perversion rear its ugly head. They're starting to see this, right? Some people aren't going to have a heart for the fight. They seriously aren't because the thing is, this is heinous. It is completely over the top. You're going to be uh, dealing with goblins and ghouls. And little disgusting Draculas wandering around trying to look around for children because that's what they want. That's, that's all they could think about. All right, you, you are gonna get a little bit messy uh, you're dealing with these swamp creatures, and that's what it is. It is what it is. And then uh, during this whole ordeal, what we'll find out is who has the heart for this and who doesn't have the heart for this. All right, because when, you, when you're thinking about uh, child abuse, of course, you think about stuff that happens in the home, and that is not rare, all right? It does need to be alleviated, all right? But not only that, you're talking about children who get snatched up and kidnapped, go under the radar, uh, and get shipped around by all sort of nefarious creatures in and out of a politics and celebrity life. Little children are being trafficked to a point where to the point where it's like record breaking all right to the point where you would not believe it unless you heard it and you heard it over and over and over the way that I've been hearing it for years now all right that all being said I want to introduce you as you can tell by the title to a movie in it the movie's called Contra Land all right and that's a glimpse Contra land. You go ahead and check out the trailer. You start to understand the the gravity of the problem that I'm describing to everybody. You start to understand the domestic terrorist nature of something that's very serious going on in this country. All right, and that's not a little thing. People against all this pedophilia. All this child abuse and abduction. People who are against that, there have been people against it for years now. Lots of times they come up missing. It's a very serious situation, to be honest with you. A lot of people don't have the heart for it. 
a lot of people really don't have the heart for it. And, and the thing is, it's because of this that they'll veer off and, and think about other things. And God bless them, I hope they do, because this is a sincere battle, all right? There's all sort of people need to come to justice. By the by the tens of thousands, by the hundreds of thousands. Looking at the little children. One of them for their own perverted devices and things of this nature, trying to snatch them up. Oh, uh, you need to accept them, you need to tolerate them. Actually, no. Some of, some of us won't. Uh, check out Contra Land. It's, it's been produced and um, pretty much, I guess, uh, quarterbacked by my man Craig Sawyer. If you don't know who Craig Sawyer is, then uh, something's wrong right now, all right? Because this man is on top of the game, if you will. He's the head of the spear when it comes to rescuing little children because little children ain't meant for these disgusting, uh, diabolical, uh, unaffordable, disgusting child sex rings that they do and they've been doing it. And it is of the utmost priority. Craig Sawyer, Contra Land, guess what? <coughs> I'm gonna let you in on a little bit of something before we get out of here. I'm gonna let you in on a little bit of something. I'm gonna give you a little taste of a little bit of something right now. YouTube has a trending tab, right? A lot of times you go into the trending tab, you find some all bullshit, right? Everybody knows this, okay? So, Contra Land, uh, I'm looking at it right now. We got the clips for the uh, for the um, trailer, basically, for Contra Land. It's about uh we got one clip that's four days old and i want to tell you right now it's got 8.7 uh it's got 8.7 thousand views right four days old for contra land the trailer got 8.7 thousand views what it needs is 8.7 million views um reasonably that's if it was getting the kind of exposure that it deserved it would be getting 8.7 million views by this time. All right. You have to understand that the trending tab of YouTube, and YouTube's killing itself right now, the trending tab, lots of times it does have videos that they try to give exposure to certain entities, right? Lots of times you'll find a Young Turks video that ain't but 8.7 thousand views, and somehow, for some reason, it'll be on the trending tab. People have seen this who study the trending tab, but guess what? Contra Land, as important as the subject material might be, Contra Land ain't gonna end up on the trending tab of YouTube. I promise you. Promise you that. Uh, how do you feel about that? I feel some sort of a way. It's December the 18th, 2017, and I'll holler at y'all later about some stuff.